Hello and welcome back. Uh, in this lecture, we'll see uh, the implications of the percentage symbol. So let's get started. Uh, to begin, uh, we'll open, uh, we'll create a new document. So document class, so for example, 12 point and uh, article class. Then uh, we'll just open begin document in document uh, in the preamble um, let's uh, say uh, we um, use a package called um, graphics CX so a package called graphics and uh, in the uh, this body of the text is uh, this is a sample document and I save this uh, say for example in the folder LaTeX output and I save this uh, file name called sample and uh, when I compile this yeah this is a sample document okay so there is no problem with the document but supposing um, if you share this uh, tech file to a beginner in LaTeX so he may not be uh, able to understand why we use this graphics package so let's type in so this package is required for installing or, or installing uh, incorporating uh, multimedia files so something like that then I just save this file let's see what happens if we compile this and uh, straight away line 3 is an error say missing begin document so which means that LaTeX is trying to say that this should be within the body like there this is not the place to uh, type in for the uh, type in uh, uh, type in these texts uh, in fact the preamble is not a place where you incorporate these things um, so which means that uh, this is an error so but this is required for the uh, beginners to understand why we use graphics then in this case um, the percentage symbols will come to handy. so what does that mean as percentage is to comment out the uh, some portion of the uh, content in the uh, latex document but that is not uh, part of your uh, code or not part of your document I mean the final document so I'm gonna put percentage symbol so as soon as I put the percentage symbol the entire uh, text the color of the entire text changes to gray I just remove it and this is black and now it turns out to be gray which means that it's indicating that this is a comment so I'm gonna save this and I compile this yes the same old document and it doesn't have the uh, errors so there's no error message so this is a comment and this will be really helpful for the uh, what you call the beginners to understand why graphics supposing if I uh, incorporate a package called uh, um, PI font say for example PI font so I'll just quickly um, PI font I'll save this control s to save this and I say this is a sample document say for example I put number and the ing is the uh, command related to pi font that we have seen during our packages and say 172 so 172 will give a circled number one so we are saying that this is a sample document number one and I'm gonna give control s and I'm gonna give yes it is saved so this is a sample document number one so this ding 172 will yield this thing and I'll close this for a moment supposing um, I don't want this PI font so uh, how do I go about and uh, hiding this is that uh, for example if I uh, put a percentage symbol before it even you see the color changes to gray and thus package is not uh, in the um, what do you call even though it's type set in the uh, document but this becomes a comment to prove that this uh, DING will work when this PI font is enabled so let's try and compiling this uh, document and see what happens when I compile it you see undefined control sequence this I think uh, slash DING is an undefined control sequence which means that PI font is not enabled let's see I uh, remove the percentage symbol now it 
it is enabled so I'll save this document and I'll compile this yeah here it is the document with the PI font enable got its output let's try uh, uh, I'll just put a slash and a hash and I just put document number I'll just see some modifications um, I'll remove a sample and I say this this is a document number I just say three okay so I'll save this and I quick built it yes so this is a document number three but I have no uh, usage of PI font and the graphics so in this case I comment out those things as well and uh, it doesn't matter like if you put uh, as much as that doesn't make any significance percentage is a percentage so one percentage or multiple percentage doesn't make any difference so this is the final output say um, I remove a uh, this is a document uh, number 15 something like that for the contrast I'll just say yes this is a document number 15 so I'll close this for a moment so which means that this package no matter this percentage symbols or something like that supposing if you wanted to know uh, the um, nature of the document say for example uh, some people uh, have the uh, tendency to use um, the um, what do you call um, uh, the uh, sequencing for example um, this percentage and they say this uh, document class then I'll just do like this and I copy the stuff and uh, I'll just put in like the um, preamble starts in fact this is what I was doing when I uh, initially learned la latex so I just wanted to uh, put in all these things to understand uh, in case I uh, open up the document later on and um, preamble and so then probably like um, the um, uh, body of the um, document then at the end it's just the end of the document so I'll just say this and even though if I compile it will just yield the same results so probably um, so those are the uh, uh, com uh, the importance of the uh, percentage symbols and uh, one more important thing I wanted to uh, tell you that this I'll just um, close all the things is I'll delete all the things and um, just a minute like I'll delete all the things even though those are comments but when you delete those it still asks for the um, changes to be made I mean the save to be done so that's the advantage of LaTeX yes supposing um, there is a comment within the body say for example uh, this is document number uh, 15 I just wanted to uh, put a percentage symbol uh, stating that uh, confidential document and uh, if you see um, I made a uh, spelling error in a document but in the comment it doesn't uh, really display say for example if I uh, do it um, here it just asks me uh, this is wrong so I can correct it so in the comment it just the comment is a comment so um, so I just made a mistake uh, for the purpose and uh, it doesn't tells me um, confidential documents so that's it then many people ask me what happens if the percentage symbol uh, is, is percentage symbol uh, we have described as all uh, uh, single line what happens if there are some multiple lines like in that um, will the uh, percentage symbol is used in all the uh, initial um, before the initial word of the uh, line it is not so because unless you um, you type in uh, whatever might be it goes on and on so the percentage symbols will remain uh, there say for example the number say I'm just gonna 
give some space so let's talk about multiple lines so whichever uh, how much our line uh, you type in so that if you have the person symbol initially then it will even uh, take up the entire paragraph say for example uh, I'm just typing um, a sentence called a random text but it's still commented but this can be uh, eliminated by uh, changing it to the next line so which means that this is uh, document number 15 and in continuation it should be a uh, random text let's compile this yeah you see this is a uh, document number 15 a random text so it doesn't print any of this after the um, percentage symbol what happens if there is another percentage symbol here say for example this one and uh, the same way whatever you type in so it doesn't make any difference so this is the uh, uh, the implications of the uh, percentage symbol uh, let's remove this and uh, I have pre-typed a text so I've just saved it in my notepad control C uh, this is the common error many beginners makes in fact many of my colleagues who are new to LaTeX and ask me so they copy uh, pay, copy uh, and paste content from the uh, Microsoft Word or any word processing or even from the uh, internet so they'll get this error so can you identify what is the error yes if you have identified the percentage symbol is an error congratulations and you understood whatever we whatever I told in the beginning so in this case let's compile this uh, save this and let's compile this yes it only prints India occupies 2.41 so which means that it prints only India occupies 2.41 and then we have a percentage symbol which means that it comment out all the other uh, contents uh, then it only prints this to eradicate that we have to put slash percentage I mean the backslash percentage uh, I still the error uh, occurs so let's type and let's save this and uh, let's compile this yes but then like in the occupies 2.41 the percentage simple occurs then it stops at 18 so let's see what's that 18 18 is also had a percentage symbol so 18 percentage of world's population so I'm gonna put in the a slash then I just save this and I compile this yeah another sentence say for example at the 2001 census 72.7 yes so it's probably uh, I've got a percentage here so I have another percentage here so that's it I think so yes uh, but if you have a document that runs pages and pages like many texts like thousands and thousands of texts and some uh, few hundreds of percentage symbols it'd be very difficult for you to uh, replace everything by the slash percentage and uh, there's a trick in uh, tech makers so you can press ctrl r so ctrl r is certainly uh, what you call remedy to the solution for example I'm going to find percentages and I'm going to replace everything with the slash percentage. So this will be a really helpful uh, in case you have a large document that's got a lot of uh, these kind of percentage and special characters. Uh, you can find individually and replace uh, or you can replace as a whole. So for that I'm just going to uh, remove this percentages which I made early. Then uh, it has got a four numbers of um, percentage symbols so for example in the first case I'll just go to find yeah it says replace this occurrence yes it automatically goes to the other one and asks me whether you want to replace this and um, I'll say yes but it's kind of a very huge thing uh, of replacing individually so I'll just close this and I'm gonna put replace all yes just replaced all the um all the other uh, elements say for example uh, when i click no so it just didn't take this and it goes to the next line and replace it all so what happens if i didn't do it so it just asks me another replace all and uh, the problem is when i do when i do say that it will take an additional uh, line to it so this is a common error like most of uh, the beginners will do they 
do it replace all in the one instant then um, the hesitation or they might have some doubt in the mind stating that whether everything gets replaced so they do it one more time so it adds another so what basically does is that once you type in per, I mean you uh, give a percentage symbol and uh, you replace it with this and when you do it another time it will take this percentage and it replaces by slash so that's why you get this double slash and double slash has another implications in latex so that is a line separator and we don't want to have that so this is all about uh, replacing and replacing all so I just control s and I quickly run through yes you've got the beautiful text so this completes the uh, implications of uh, the percentages in your LaTeX or the tech document. So thank you for listening and we'll see you in the next lecture. Bye bye.